In this video, I will show you how to build a simple but useful and attractive dashboard to present, share, and interact with your data in three easy steps. This dashboard shows what was going on in the Netflix catalog in the past years. The soundbars chart displays how the shows are distributed among the categories. With the range slider, we can filter the shows by the year they were added to the catalog. The stacked area chart displays the number of new movies and TV shows added to the catalog. We can focus on different time periods using this range slider filter on the right. Scrolling down, we get some information about the movies and TV shows length, respectively from the histogram and the bar chart. As you can see, a clear majority of TV shows lasted only one season. In the end, a table view shows the entries in the data behind the dashboard possibly selected from the histogram and bar chart above. But now, without further ado, let's see how to build this kind of a dashboard with Nyman Analytics platform. Step 1. Create a few beautiful charts. The Nyman workflow behind the visualization is simple. There is a file reader node to load the data into the workflow and meta nodes that encapsulate the preprocessing steps, such as missing value handling, format conversion and values extraction. At this point, the data are in the form needed to build the dashboard. We start with a soundbars chart node. We open the configuration window and select the column that we want to show in the donuts of the soundbars chart. First, select the type, movie or TV show, then the category and in the end the movie title for the middle and outermost donut. Further visual and interactivity options are in the other tabs. Let's keep all the subscription and publishing options enabled. That is, we let the chart interact with widgets and other charts in the dashboard. Let's check next how to add a title to the page through a text output widget node. We can even use HTML format to customize the displayed text. Next, let's add a slider filter through the interactive range slider filter widget node. This node displays a slider in the dashboard which you can use to focus the chart into a subset of the data. In the configuration window, we set the column to provide the range for filtering. In this case, we want to filter according to the year in which a show has been added to the Netflix catalog. Step 2. Wrap them up into a component. In Nyman Analytics platform, interactive dashboards are provided by components. Let's create one. We select all the visualization nodes and the filter and the text widgets. Right-click and select Create Component. Let's give it a meaningful name, Netflix Overview, for example. Let's now open the component. Right-click, Component, Open. As you can see, it contains all the nodes that we just selected. We can now configure the layout of the dashboard. From the upper toolbar, click on the last icon to open the Visual Layout Editor. Here, we can set the size and the position of the elements by drag and drop. We can even add more rows from here to the left and add a column by clicking this plus icon. In the same way, you can build all the visualizations that you desire. For example, here is the component with all the elements of the Netflix dashboard. The dashboard is now available locally in our Nyman Analytics platform in the interactive view output of the component. However, often we don't want to keep this work just for ourselves. Instead, we want the dashboard to be accessible to anyone via a web browser. Step 3. Deploy the interactive view as a web page. To perform this operation, we have to deploy the workflow to a NIME server instance. Deployment on a NIME server comes with the commercial offering of NIME. Here I have my workflow with the complete dashboard. Let's go to the NIME Explorer panel. Right-click on the workflow and select Deploy to Server. We choose the desired destination and click OK. Right-click on the deployed workflow and select Open in Web Portal. After the execution, here is our dashboard, now accessible and shareable with anyone. You can also build different pages to be displayed on the web portal by adding multiple subsequential components in the same workflow. There is no limit. Just remember the three steps shown in this video. One, Create the charts with JavaScript-based visualization nodes. 2. Wrap them up into one or multiple components in your workflow. 3. Gain insights from the local dashboard or deploy and share it.